Oh yeah, it's officially summertime. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today has got to be by far probably the nicest day uh, in England weather-wise since I think we moved here. So it's supposed to get up to like 80 degrees and it's just super sunny. It's going to cloud up later, but we're taking advantage of it right now. Uh, we're headed to base to grab some things and uh, Chelsea actually wasn't supposed to be here today. She uh, is trying something that's called a Space A flight or a hop flight. And what it is, essentially, it's a military plane that's going to leave from one of the bases near us and go to a base in the States. And you're actually either a military member like myself or your dependents like Chelsea uh, get the opportunity to fly for free. So they're just, you know, shipping cargo or doing whatever they need to do, moving some stuff from one base to the other. And if they have seats available and uh, she's able to fly, then she can. So there's like a whole yeah. order to it where active duty members get priority and then it goes all the way down the line to I think retirees are the last category. And then it's like based on like when you sign up at the terminal. Yeah, so definitely first come first serve. You really don't know how many seats are available until it happens. So we were talking about doing this when we lived in Dover and the opportunity never came up. So now she's like, if I can get home and fly home to see my family, uh, main reason is today is Raylan's birthday, so she was trying to get home in time for the party. Uh, it didn't quite work out because a couple, what was it, like Thursday you started looking at these yeah, flights? Yeah, I think it's been like three different flights. So they keep getting rolled and she'll look at the website or call in and they'll cancel or reschedule and move it to the next day. So, so tomorrow there's three different flights, um, so I'm going to try and get on at least one of them. Yeah, so I'll show you in the map. She's either trying to go to Dover, where we used to live, or go to McGuire, which is up in New Jersey here, and then her parents live in this area. So if she can get there, then they're gonna go to the base and pick her up, and then she's gonna hang out with them. We don't know if she's gonna be there for a couple weeks or, um, you know, just kind of depending on the schedule. But the it's plan now. Being flexible. Yeah, the plan for us is uh, I'm still gonna fly out of Heathrow to Orlando in a couple weeks, and so Chelsea might just stay up in Delaware and then meet me in Florida and then uh, we'll head over to my parents in Alabama and then back to Florida for Disney. So a lot of flying around, a lot of traveling happening here, but Chelsea's trying to ditch me and uh, make me do the dogs and stuff all by it's myself. Payback for all the times he leaves me. <laughs> yeah, so that's what's going on. That's the craziness. I'm hoping I can get her off tomorrow and this plane leaves on time so she can get to her family. But right now we're just gonna enjoy the weather. Uh, earlier today, uh, just like an hour ago, I was mowing the lawn. Well, I wanna show you guys because I'm using an electric mower. I've never used an electric mower before. Uh, I've always seen them, but I've had the gas ones and we've had bigger yards. So uh, let me show you this, it's kind of kind of different. All right, so this is the mower situation we got here. It's a electric mower that I gotta plug into the shed. So it's got a catch right there for the grass and uh, it just does a couple passes and then it'll fill up, but I'll show you guys. I got an extension cord I put in halfway through the yard and then uh, that just helps me get the whole space and then just got it plugged in in the shed there. So let me set you guys down and I'll show you. It's pretty wild. Different setup here. As you guys can see, it's super easy to use. It's got like a sled kind of body to it, and then it's got two wheels up front, and it just kind of like glides. So Chelsea and I were joking, it's kind of like vacuuming, um, you know, just kind of going through and pushing a vacuum through the yard. So the catch is super easy too. Everything just comes in there. <clears throat> the ones I'm used to uh, that we had in the States usually have a bag on the back of it, and then all the clippings catch. So it's kind of unique that it just goes on top, and then this whole tray lifts off. So that's it for the mowing. As you can see, it's pretty simple. We got a pretty small yard, so it doesn't take that long to uh, get through it. Trying to keep up with it though, with the rain we've been having, it's really been growing quick. So uh, yeah, and once you're done, folds up nicely here and uh, just fits right back in the shed. So 
It's a different mower, but I'm definitely thankful that the uh, homeowners had it for us. Uh, so I didn't have to go buy something else. And again, it's too small to have really like a big gas mower. So um, it's pretty cool. But now I gotta do some edging. We're gonna clean up the lines here and uh, just do some weed eating, get it 100%. <laughs> Okay, now I'm all done, finished product. Chelsea and the uh, dogs are out now, enjoying it. There's just something about fresh cut grass that, you know, in the summertime, I just really like. It's very uh, relaxing to kind of come do some yard work. But Chelsea's gonna show you the area where we gotta work on for our next project. Oh gosh, it's a mess. In the lawn over here. Yeah. Um, so we just wanna, it's, this is Sunny's blood. Oh yeah. She finds something gross and then she wants to roll and around. she just got it back. What are you doing, girl? So we're gonna work on um, just cleaning this area up. I really want to like get some big like rose bushes and just have them like go crazy. Yeah, I think those are roses there. Or I'm not sure what kind of plants. But, but... the problem is, is our electric uh, meters back there, so we have to figure out a, we have to cut them down a little bit just so we can actually get back there to like read our meter. Yeah. Because here it's different. Where like in the states we would just get a bill, and here we have to like input our meter, or, like our numbers. Yeah. You can see our collection of patio furniture too that fit in the back of the old house in Dover. So we're gonna move some of this stuff around and probably once I clear out the garage, get it in there. But yep, we'll show you guys the other wall here that we're gonna try and tear up and mulch. So we're also gonna fix this area up. Um, Hootie has an obsession with this area. So it's gonna be interesting when we actually like put some mulch down. It, hopefully he doesn't continue to eat everything. <laughs> Yeah, just got to rip up all the weeds and then remulch it. I'm sure it looked really good at one time and it's just overgrown now. So a little bit of work, we'll get this back together. Hey. So we're on base now. We decided it's nice enough that it's probably uh, good enough weather for Chelsea to take her top off today. So first time in England, I'm gonna- Gone topless. Yeah. Well, only partially. Yeah, only only partially. <laughs> so we are on a base after all, you know, yeah. gotta be- uh, careful but yeah so I'm gonna work on that while Chelsea's in there we're talking about these panels right here I don't know what you guys are thinking about so this is how you do it look at that beautiful sunshine coming through yeah whenever we do this I always feel like I'm on, a, on one of those Jurassic Park Jeeps that we're just going through you're gonna look at dinosaurs or something but oh, it's so nice So I ordered this box, it got delivered today, and I thought Chelsea was going to be gone, but it actually works out that she's still here, so she gets to see it. Um, making her open it though, because I already know what it is. No idea what this is. Goes with our... Uh, theme for the day. Is it an inflatable pool? Mm, not quite. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> you don't know? Is there any label to it? Oh, you got Sunny and Hootie pool. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a kiddie pool, but it's uh, cardboard versus like um, inflatable. So... It's one we can stick our feet in, but we're gonna get it set up here in the yard and we'll show you guys in a second.
It's got a really slow hose. It's going to take some time. All right, so Hootie's starting to get the hang of it. Sonny's not quite sure. Come on. Come on. Jump in. <laughs> Hootie likes the water a lot more than Sonny. Yeah. Is that nice on a hot day? What do you think? <laughs> Sonny, you want to come in? She's like, no thanks. I think this is what we've both been looking for. Just nice weather to be able to come out, sit outside, hang out with the dogs, even though they're going through a lot of stuff right now. But lost our blue skies. It's overcast right now, but it's still warm. It's nice. So we uh, we just had lunch. We're gonna grill out here later, um, but just kind of enjoying just being outside. Check them out, looking good. Mm. Love summertime. All right, steaks are all done, check them out. While I was doing those, Chelsea was making some salads. So, we got steak, fresh salad. We got uh, two kinds of like macaroni salad or potato salad. We got barbecue salad, uh, just pretty standard, uh, nothing special. And then this was cool, this was like a German potato salad they had at the commissary there. Looked really good, so. This is the uh, end, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're just letting the steak settle for a second. We're gonna dive in, but hope you enjoyed watching this episode. We enjoyed the weather, it was beautiful today. It was nice seeing it up in the 80s and just being able to sit back and relax and uh, enjoy a lazy Saturday. So uh, if you are new to the channel, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Make sure you catch us on future adventures and we'll see you guys next time.